Maybe that's better. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Monday Night Live. Just getting my microphone in order. It wants to fall down. Okay, hopefully it'll stay out of the way. Someone yell at me if my microphone goes in the way. Today is Monday, May 15th. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Jonah says hi. I hope everybody can see and hear me. Let me know if you can't. And let me know if you can hear Jonah barking. If you can hear Jonah, you can probably, <clears throat> excuse me, you can probably hear me. I hope everybody had a wonderful Mother's Day yesterday, if you are a mother. If not, um, I hope you had a good day anyway, a good Sunday. All right, I moved my microphone. Hopefully it'll be in a better spot. Today, of course, it's Monday, so we're going to do some Monday Mad Libs. Um, and as always, I do um, ask for a volunteer to help out with the Mad Lib. So if you would like to volunteer, just type volunteer in the chat, and the first one I see will get to be our volunteer. Um, and... Uh, what volunteering consists of, what happens with the Mad Libs is I will say uh, what type of word we need, noun, verb, whatever, adjective. Everybody puts those in the chat and our volunteer is the one that picks one of those for us to put in the story. Um, it just makes it a little easier on me so I am not trying to um, go back and read all the words and choose one and go through and, and pick them all. It just seems to flow a little bit better when we have a volunteer. And I've been sending the volunteers something out in the mail. I owe Agnes and Janet both um, envelopes and I will be sending those out. I'm sorry I'm late sending those out, but they'll be coming out to you. And I do want to say, um, welcome in, Anne. Thank you to everyone who has commented in the Facebook group on Flat Liam's post. He is going to love it. I'm going to print that out and give it to him when he is here. He'll be here on Thursday. We have a family wedding this weekend, and they are coming up from Florida. So I'll get to see Liam in person, and I'll give him his Flat Liam back with all of the pictures and everything. Um so he will enjoy that a lot. So we'll get started on the on the Mad Lib once we have a volunteer. And um, I do have some mail. I guess I should have wiped off my desk. I had little pieces of stuff. Anyway, um, I did get some mail in and I have two challenges to do today. So that is going to be fun and exciting. Um, let's see. I will start with this stack of cards I got. I am um, a member of the Random Act of Cardness group on Facebook. You can type that in the search bar. It is a wonderful group and anytime someone is in need of cards for any particular reason, um, they post on there and then people just shower them with cards. Well, one lady asked if anybody were nurses um, and uh, for Nurses Week, she wanted to send out some cards. So I responded and I got a ton of cards, not just from her, but from a ton of people. So that's really nice. Welcome in, Barb. Let's see, I didn't say hello to everybody. Uh, let's see, we have Agnes, who was here very early. Agnes, Destelou, Carla, Janet, Anne, and Barb so far. And Janet and Agnes are awesome channel members. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you very much. That's why their names are green with a little flower next to it. Um, and that just helps support my channel just a little bit. And we're going to still do Mad Libs today. I was just waiting for someone to volunteer. So if you're just joining us and you would like to volunteer, just type the word volunteer in chat. 
and uh, the volunteer would be helping me pick words that would go into the story. And everybody gets to put words in the chat. The volunteer is just the one that gets to pick one of those responses. If I don't get a volunteer after I um, do go through these cards, then we'll just start anyway. This first one says, hi, and this is from Deborah, and she sent me some cute stickers. This one here is a vinyl sticker. It says, you are my sunshine, really cool. And then those are like envelope seals. So that is very cool. Then we have this pretty floral one, and it says, thank you for all you have done for 26 years and beyond. I've been a nurse that long. I'm an old person been a nurse forever I feel like this one says you're one of my nicest thoughts this card I believe is handmade and it has this embossed paper I might use this as a card sketch I think that would be pretty cool and it says hello from middle Georgia just writing to say happy nurses day thank you for taking care of all the patients out there and so much you do um, there is so much to do for your patients so that is very cool. Then we have your sensitivity and your skills make the difference in so many lives. And she wrote a really nice um, message. That is really cool. Thank you so much. I think her name is Elaine. I think that's how she pronounces it. Thank you very much. Nurses make a difference every day. So thankful for you and all you do. Happy Nurses Day. And this is from Tracy F. And then the last one, Happy Nurses Day, and it even has some bling. And um, this one is from Paula in Minnesota. Thank you, everyone who sent me a card. If you happen to be watching, I do appreciate all of you. And that is from the Random Acts of Cardness group on Facebook. So if you are looking for a way to send cards, look um, look there and uh Someone is always posting several times a day of different reasons that they may need cards. Welcome in, Connie. All right. We don't have a volunteer yet to help with the um, Mad Libs, so I'm just going to go ahead and get started anyway. If at any time anyone wants to volunteer. Oh, there's Agnes. Agnes will volunteer. Thank you, Agnes. I appreciate you. I still owe you something from last time. So I will get something sent out to you in the mail, Agnes. All right, let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Excuse me. The first word that we need is a verb ending in ing. And we need one so far. All right, I have quite a few things. I got this neat bag in the mail from um this is from dawn at the hangout for those of you who are in um the hangout that's another facebook group crafty girl swap hangout i think is the full name um and we do wishes once a month and this is what she sent and she sent it in this really nice bag which is really cool And there are a couple things. We have a watermelon stamp. This reminds me, I have another um, watermelon stamp that a mouse is eating. So, and that's really cool. This here says summer. I bet Anne's kids are helping with the words. And then we have some really pretty purple bling, which you know, that is right up my alley. I'd swim the ocean for you. The letters there are foil, very cool. Beach, please. This also has some foil. Dreams are made of sand and sun. Again, there is some foil on there. Sunsets and palm trees. Then we have this really pretty um, rainbow. It says, you are beautiful like a rainbow. I might do something with that. And then we have these adhesive 
like gems or metal doodads. We have a watermelon peel off mask. And then this rose um, fragrance bag. It smells so good. I had to sniff it. I do love the smell of rose. I know a lot of people do not like rose. I am one of the people who, who love the smell of rose. Some rose perfumes, though, do not smell good, but that one, this one does smell really nice. I love most of them. All right, let me put this back in here. I will leave this out because maybe I'll make a card with that because that's really pretty. Close that back up. <clears throat> then I have another... Uh, package here may wishes something glittery this is from Christina G and these are I have used these I have several that are the same which is great because I use them a lot these are just um, trims you've probably seen me use them let's see if I have an open one they look like little pieces of lace I'm not sure where my open ones are but let me open one of these to show you what they look like. This is what they look like. And they're just adhesive strips of lace. There we go. And there are three. Of course, I dropped that paper on the floor. Oh, hello, Michelle. Okay. Everybody be quiet. Michelle's on a call. Shh. Shh. Don't make noise. I hope you didn't see my head when I bent down to pick that up. Okay. All right. And then I have two other things. I think this is it for the mail. This and these last two. I don't think I'm missing anything. This is from Jennifer Marker from the group. And she sent me this envelope of goodies. This is from the Hangout and it is a wish and it's a card sketch challenge um, for my channel. So she sent a piece of black cardstock. Oh, Michelle, that's no fun, a work call. We'll behave. I won't say any bad words while you're on the work call. And then this tan cardstock. We have some red eyelash yarn. We have this scalloped circle that says love. This really pretty doily heart and these two uh, banner tags and we have four butterflies I think they're two pink and two red so we'll have to do a card sketch challenge or a card I don't know if it's a sketch it's a card challenge I will figure out something to do with that I'll set it over there Welcome in, Christine. It's okay that you're late. All right, we did get our first word. Um, so if Agnes could pick us one of those words, then we'll move on to the next one. You're just in time, Christine. I'm just doing mail yet. Then we have this. This is from Remy. Um, and she sent me a craft challenge for my May wishes from the Hangout. So she sent this packet of these little notebooks. And then this envelope of goodies. Let's see what's in here. We have a piece of paper. Oh, that is cool. And then we have a tag and a sun, a, I almost said a sunflower. That's not a sunflower, that's just a sun. We have some leaves. 
we have some stars, a flower, and some die cuts. And what's in here? Let's see. We have Sew and Grow. We have that neat embellishment and a butterfly. Oh, this is going to be hard. Anything left in here? No. Okay. I can do all three, really, because they wouldn't all go together. But I will cover all three of these, probably. Maybe I'll use this on one of them, too. We'll see. If you guys have any ideas, you're going to have to let me know. I'm just going to put this in here. Make sure nothing fell out into this. Yeah, there's a another star. Okay. Agnes Smelling. Okay. Let me set this over here. Get rid of that. I feel like Julia Child. I just threw that on the floor. <laughs> Do you guys remember Julia Child where she would just throw stuff on the floor? I think we've talked about this before. Smelling. Okay. All right. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. This is funny. Okay. Um, the next thing we need is a plural noun, and we need two of them. So put two plural nouns in the chat, and we'll go from there. Okay. So. That was all of my mail. Oh, no, wait. I have one more thing of mail. Okay. You know, we're getting ready for company. Liam is coming. Not flat Liam, but the real Liam is coming. And um, we were doing some house cleaning and out in the living room, I found boxes of stuff craft stuff that I have ordered and this one box I never even opened okay let me see I'm just adjusting my light there we go it was too bright I have this box believe it or not <laughs> this box from Echo Park it was still sealed I didn't even remember what I ordered so I will show you what I got in it. I'm not going to go through each of the paper packs, but I'll just show you what they are. I'm going to set this over to the side over here. So they sent this catalog, Spring and Summer Collection. <laughs> so this was before spring. I don't remember. This might have been the last um, warehouse sale where you could pick things because I remember I did pick these so that it hasn't been too long so anyway I never buy their new collections I always just shop on their outlet and use you know get their old stuff but these are really cool looking I don't know how to make them but they're really cool so I ordered the let freedom ring these are all paper packs are 12 by 12 collections so you could see all of the colored paper here and then I'll show you the stickers on the back I don't have a lot of patriotic things so I thought it would be good to order a couple of them there were two that I have, do not have and the second one was America I like the blue gingham and so there is the stickers on the back of that one. And some of these have uh, two sheets and some have one of each and they're all double-sided papers in case you're not familiar with Echo Park. Although if you watched my show for five minutes, you would be familiar because, you know, we use Echo Park all the time. This one I thought was really cool, White Christmas. And it has a lot of kind of a vintage feel to it. And there is the back, the stickers.
And then we have Best Summer Ever, Cool in the Pool. That's kind of neat. And that's the sticker sheet. And then I have this in the six by six pad. Um, I don't know if it's number two or not, but I have a paper pack like this, the Christmas salutations, because I thought it would be neat, obviously, for Christmas cards. And this is what we have. And there is the stickers on the back. Oh, there you go, Barb. This is I Love Halloween. I don't have a lot of Halloween paper, and I thought this would be good. Although now that I'm looking at it, it looks familiar. No, it's not familiar, because I would have remembered those spiders. I don't have those. I don't like spiders. Oh, and you know, you guys who are who think little flat Liam is all cute, he sent me a private message on Facebook of a spider. No, no, thank you, Liam. I don't like spiders. I hope he doesn't bring a spider here. He has, I guess, a bunch of plastic spiders. And of course, he had to tell me about this spider. It's, no, 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 no. Anyway, okay, so we have Endless Summer. I like the birds in it. Really cool. And there's the back. We have a ukulele. Liam plays the ukulele. I think we're going to try to play some music together. Emma plays the piano and Liam plays the ukulele. They're both learning. They, they um, have lessons in their school. So I think we'll play together. I think that'll be fun. Because um, we have ukuleles here and we have a keyboard that Emma can play. So we've got all kinds of stuff. And we have drums too. So they can play the drums. I don't know if I want them to play the drums. We have a tambourine. We have frogs. We have shakers. We have a toy drum. It's not a toy, but it's a round drum. Um, and we have a an electronic drum set. And a million guitars. Liam wants to learn how to play electric guitar. So I think we'll let him try one of ours. It might be too big for him. We'll see. And if you are just joining us, we're looking for two plural nouns, a plural amount of plural nouns. And here's the other welcome autumn. This one is Cartabella, these two autumn ones. Cartabella's paper, if you're not f familiar with it, you see them on the um, Echo Park site. Their paper actually has a really pretty texture to it. It, it's really nice. It tends to be thicker, higher quality than just the regular Echo Park. Um, Echo Park paper is just flat, you know, like regular paper. There's nothing wrong with it. But this has a really neat uh, texture to it. So anyway, those that's what I have out of this. I ordered a Cupid one, but it did not come. It was, um, they refunded me. So... One of these days, I'm going to actually use some of these papers. I'm thinking it would be nice to maybe pick one of these two pads and make as many cards as I can out of that pad and just do some every Monday night between now and July 4th. Maybe not now because I've got these other things, but um, I don't know. Let me know if you'd be interested in that but it would mean several of them in a row. Maybe I could do a regular video series. I don't know. Maybe a Christmas one. I don't know. All right, let me move this out of the way. All right, Agnes, can you please pick me two of those plural nouns and I'll put those in the story. Thank you, Janet. I do like when they have their um, sale where you can pick what you want. You have the Hello Autumn. Yeah, I might actually, maybe I'll go through some of the ones I have and put a poll up on Facebook and see what uh, everybody would like. 
because that way if several of you have a particular paper pack then it might um it might be better for me to use one that people vote for it would be awesome to do one that um a lot of people have so I'm going to use just a regular four and a quarter by five and a half card base for this challenge. And this is just a card. She called it a card sketch challenge, but I don't see a sketch. So we're just going to go with it. We have these two. I'll probably just use the back black as the background. I could. You're right, Desta. So maybe I'll use one of those. I, I'll see if I have another um, 4th of July pack. I have these two. Oh, let's get these two words in. Agnes picked um, kefirs and opossums. Ah. I almost dropped my book. And possums. Where did the other one go in here? There it is. All right. Then the next word we need is a number. But we need three numbers for the story. So put three different numbers in the chat. Big numbers, little numbers, doesn't matter. Today I'm drinking seltzer, um, cranberry lime. Oh, you had a Baltimore Oriole at your feeder, Carla. We have an Oriole feeder, and we put it out for a couple years, and we've never had any Orioles come to it. So we've stopped putting it out, because it is kind of, it's harder to maintain than the hummingbird feeders. Because we were putting jelly in it, and we were putting um, oranges, and then, of course, the stuff is mixed differently than the hummingbirds. But our hummingbird feeders are out. All right. Let's see. We have two of these guys. What if I put them together? Would it fit? It would fit that way. Put a hole there and put this on it like a tag. I think that might be good. Okay, I'm going to start with that. Let me get my hole punch. My hole punch wasn't far. So I'm going to stick them together a little bit. And yes, I refilled this like right before the show. I just want to put a little bit on there. And a bunny. We, um, oh, we have so many woodpeckers here. Love the woodpeckers. They're so pretty. Welcome in, Angela. We're just starting and the, um, this is actually the first project I'm working on, so... I was given a challenge, Angela. She gave me this stuff and I have to make a card with them. So I think I could put this in double. Yeah. Let's do it double. I'm going to cut this in half. That way it, there's just that much more. And the word is we're looking for three numbers. We have a woodpecker that every year goes on the side of our house, right outside our bedroom, and 
pecks in the corner. There's holes on the side of our house from this crazy woodpecker. We put up those uh, shiny metal things because they say that would distract them if it moves. So we got some, um, you know, that garland that they sell that's on a wire. We hung that out there and have it, you know, where it moves in the wind. Nope, he doesn't care. He, no. In the side of our house, we do have wood siding, but there aren't, aren't bugs in it. We looked up there to see if there were bugs or something that he was going after, but there isn't. He's just crazy. And every stupid year, he comes back <laughs> to the same spot on the side of our house and pecks his all. And there really isn't even a good place for him to stand there. This has been, if he comes back this year, this will be the fourth year that he is back there pecking holes in our siding. <laughs> so if you guys know how to get rid of a woodpecker, we then the first or the second year we put hummingbird, I mean, not hummingbird, woodpecker feeders, you know, the um, the stuff that they like, the suet out. And that's fine. He ate that, but he still pecked the house. So that didn't even help. I don't know. I think the animals around here are a little crazy. All right, I'm going to put this down as a mat. So let me trim this. So we do still need three numbers. So put three numbers in the chat and we will um, have Agnes pick three of them in a few minutes. All right, so I'm going to cut this down. I'm not sure if it is exactly squared, so I'm going to square it up first. It looks to be squared up pretty well. All right, so I'm going to make this four and an eighth by, oh, and that's right about right, five and three eighths. Let's see if that looks. Well, just squaring it up seemed to do a pretty good job. Slippers. That's a cute name for a bunny. So we have that. I'm assuming it's the same woodpecker because, I mean, it's just a random place. There hasn't been, I don't think, another woodpecker that's stupid enough to peck the side of our house. They usually peck trees and stuff to get bugs out of like a dead tree. They don't really go after the wood. I don't know what the heck this stupid thing was thinking. All right, so I'm going to use this too. I'm not sure how or where. This is hard. All right. I'm just imagining it being kind of like that. Let me see if I like that. Maybe I'll go up that way a little bit. Put this. Well, I kind of like that so far. What do you guys think? Maybe this underneath here. I kind of like that. Well, I kind of like this against the black instead of the red. I mean, instead of this, I don't know what I'm talking about. All right, we'll do it that way. And then we'll put the, these guys around. Okay, that's what I'll do. So I'm going to cut this to be, I just make a little mark my finger right about there something like that I 
I'm just going to trim up the other ends just to make sure they are all even and straight. They are. Okay. All right. And um, Agnes, if you could please pick me one of those, or no, three of those numbers, um, we'll go from there. I have a new tape runner. Well, it's an old tape runner. I've had it for a long time and I cannot get refills for it. It is this Amazon Basics one. So I'm going to use it on this card just so I can get it off my desk. It's really wide. And I'm not sure how strong it is compared to the other one. So for just paper on paper, I'll use it. And then I think I'll do this. I'll have it all the way to the edge over here, though, just for a little bit of a different look, I guess. I guess this is pretty strong. It feels pretty tacky. There we go. So we have that. This will go here. This I'll have go over top of it because it has the holes in it and I think it would be really pretty to show showcase what's behind it. And this I will put behind this. And I'll have this go over top of both kind of. Kind of like that. All right, let's put these numbers in. 23, 10, and no. 20, 28, 10, and 6. All right. 28, 10. <laughs> okay, this is really funny. And 6. All right. Then, <laughs> this is going to be great. The first two numbers are perfect. It is hilarious. Okay. Um, then we need an adjective and we need, let's just do two adjectives for now. We'll need more, but we'll split it up a little bit. We'll do two adjectives. I wonder if I put this in the middle. What if I do this? No, I don't like it in the middle. I like it like that better. All right, I'll put this in the corner down here. Put that down, it's down way down in the corner. Oh, this is bumpy. I'm not sure I like this tape at all. I'm definitely going to use it up and I would not be ordering a refill. I do not recommend. Do not recommend, do not buy this tape. This is Amazon Basics. You can see what it's doing. It's clumping up. It'll work. I mean, I'll still use it. It's perfect for these. For this one, I will use this little guy. This is Nuvo. It's really little. I thought it would be easier to use on here since it's little. And yes, I did refill my other tape, tape gun. I refilled that right before the show. 
Maybe I'll do it on an angle a little bit like that. There we go. I kind of like how it's kind of all layered. All right. Anne, are your kids helping today with the words? All right, so we have four of these butterflies. We have two red ones and two pink ones. What if I put three on the front and one on the inside? There, I think I'll do those three like that. And then one on the inside. And again, I'll use this little guy. This I would reorder again. I like it because it's so little. It's great for small things. Where did I have this? I don't even remember. <laughs> well, it helps if I do it the right way. All right. Okay, so I have those three three butterflies there, and I'll put this one on the inside over here. There we go. So there, that card is done. Thank you so much, Jennifer, if you are watching for the card um, sketch challenge. I appreciate that. Let me put that over here. I used everything except for that little tiny, um, this little piece. Okay, so... The next challenge that I received is from Remy, and she is one, in case I forgot to mention, she has such beautiful handwriting. I love her handwriting. It's so cool. All right, so we have these three little books. Let me see if I can... open this. Thank you, Christine. All right. Um, Agnes, can you pick me two of those um, adjectives, please? And we'll put them in the chat. Or not the chat, in the book. You know what I mean. In the thing. Put the things in the thing. So we have these three. And the first thing I have here, I'm going to use this... Um, Oh, I wonder where my corner rounder is. If I were my corner rounder, where would I be? Let me look where I used to keep my corner rounder and it is not there. I'm going to just use scissors because I'll have the book to um, do. I like, I think I like the... Uh, the ice creams rather than that and maybe what if I did I could do the sunshine with the ice cream since it's so very summer I'm gonna have to get paper to do the other two maybe I can do one with flowers and the butterfly and one with the leaves and this and maybe sew and grow okay that's what we'll do we'll do this this one here the summertime move those over and I can use I think I'll leave the back alone 
let's see which one does this go best with oh this one goes best with this well, I don't know it goes with all of them really this one here look at that we'll go with this one like how I ask you guys a question and then I answer myself all right so the back is plain it doesn't have anything on it so we can leave the back alone and we'll go ahead and put this on Oh, let's put those words in the story first. We have dazzling and swampy. Dazzling and swampy. I like to say that. All right, the next word we need is a, a noun, and we only need one noun, believe it or not. So put your noun in the chat and we'll go from there. All right, I'm gonna use my heavy duty tape for this one. This is the Scotch brand and it is super duper heavy duty. I use it a lot for papers, but it might kind of be overkill for regular paper cards and stuff. But I love it. It works so well. All right. I'm just looking at the way the, um, the light hitting it just to make sure I got it as close to the edge as I can. Let's put another row down there okay and I'm going to I want this to be as close to this outside edge as I can so I'm going to set this book flat here and I am going to set this on oops no 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 I'm going to use the really good glitter tape. Um, probably this blue. Out of the colors that I have, I think this blue is the best. Unless I have one of these, that's even better. That one is better. Yeah, that one is better. Oh no, you're having buffering issues. Well, if more than one person is having them, then it might be me. I've been having Wi-Fi issues in my office here my craft room todd ordered i think a new router for me or something i will let him know that okay everybody did that's probably on my end i don't know why it's been like that let me check one thing hang on just a second I didn't lose my connection. I just wanted to make sure. I'm going to let Todd know we're buffering. That way he can look at the um, internet. Because he told me to let him know when it happens. All right. I typed it in chat as buffeting, but I think he'll know what I mean. All right. I'm going to use this piece. And I'm going to use some of this on here. Okay, so it's still spinning. All right, well, I told him so he can look at it and check and see.
No, all I did was look on my, um, I didn't do anything to the internet to check. I just looked at my computer to see if it was still connected to my actual Wi-Fi. It, the other day, it randomly left our regular house's Wi-Fi and picked up a neighbor's Wi-Fi. So I just wanted to make sure it didn't do that again. I won't look at it again. I wanted to make sure it didn't randomly pick up my neighbor's Wi-Fi. Because they have terrible Wi-Fi, just saying. If you're my neighbor, I'm sorry. All right. All righty. So I think we'll put the sun on this. I think that is cute. And some bling for the eyeballs and the cheeks. That'll be good. I'm going to use this really strong stuff again. You guys, if it does buffering again, let me know and I'll tell Todd again. I didn't put it on very straight. Let's try this again. Okay, better. All right. Let me see what I have for a little bit of bling, some pink bling for the cheeks. I better get my bling box. I'll be right back. That's red. I don't want red. I want pink. Yeah, this is good. Put pink. Maybe I won't do the eyes. I think I'll just do the pink. Because I think if I put the black on the eyes, it'll be, it'll take away from the cute pink on the sun. Oh, I know what I could do. on here I've got something going on let's see let's take this long one I'm gonna put this down the side there we go there we go so we have that. And then I need to get some paper for these other two. All right, so we need something to go with the green. I wonder if I could just use the background by itself. Let's see, we have Sew and Grow. I'll get a paper. 
I'll get something to cover it with. I have some of these papers out from last week. I have that summary. That's too many words though for sew and grow. I'm thinking something kind of plain because I'm going to put the leaves on the background too. All right. I don't like any of those. They're too busy. So how about... Black stickles for the eyes, that would work, but you know, I'll make a mess with them. That's not, oh, that's almost big enough. That is not exactly big enough. That would be a good color, because I bet everything is this big enough. Nope, that's not big enough. Try to use some of these scraps up. I have this shimmery color. That's not a good color. I have this color. That goes really good with the uh, background there. I have this, but it's foam. Mm, it's self-adhesive though. That would be really thick. No, I'm not gonna use the foam. It's gonna to be too thick. I don't wanna cut a whole piece of paper just for this little bit of a book. Let's see what else I have. Maybe a different color. Cause I could put these leaves on it. Cause I, I wonder how these leaves would look. They kind of don't show up on the green very well. Okay, hold on. Let's get a different color. Let's see what other colors I have. Oh, this is the perfect size, this color. For one of the two, I'll use that for one of the two. Let me pick another color for the other one. This one goes really good with this background. That I'll do the flowers on probably. So I really want more of a teal for this other one, but I don't think I have teal. Maybe in my, well, that is light blue, isn't it? Painty paper. Oh, Destalu. Why didn't I think of that? Oh, what words are we on? Did we pick words? Let me see. Nouns. Okay. Agnes, can you pick me one of those nouns? You guys got to keep me on the ball here. Welcome back, Michelle. Destaloo, if you could pick me a noun, and then we'll move on. If I don't get the words done, we're never going to get the Mad Lib done. We'll be here till midnight. All right, so we have this and this. Those are my main ones. Oh, that looks good. And it would be it would be on this one, but that's okay. This one looks better, doesn't it? And that would match the background pretty good. We'll use this one. And I wanna use a smaller one rather than cut a whole big piece. Pelican, okay. Let's put the pelican in the story and we'll move on.
Okay. The next word is going to be so much fun. It is, we need an article of clothing, plural. One article of clothing, clothing that is plural. All right. All right, let's use this here. I like this part here, so we'll go ahead with that because it has that same green in it. Tights. You know, I haven't thought of or heard of tights in forever. Did your parents, did your mom make you guys wear tights? My mom made me wear tights. I'm going to just square this whole thing up. So that way it doesn't matter which end I cut it from. Whoops. It will still work. Because if I only square up two sides, I won't remember what two sides they are. Okay, so I said I liked this bottom piece. So how big do I need to make it? A little more than four and a quarter. So let's go with about, let's do four and a half. You managed, wait, 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 wait. Yes, and I, <laughs> I managed to get cookie bars in them. Cockle, cockle bars. <laughs> I thought it said cookie bars. I'm like, what did you do? <laughs> the cookie bars down here. Tights. <laughs> I don't know what's funnier, cookie bars or cockle bars. <laughs> oh, oh, this is too funny, you guys. I'm dying laughing. Or having, I can't read the chat, I'm laughing so hard. Or having your brother and cousin tie the toes together while they were on. <laughs> I have a picture of me when I was a baby. It's my butt. Well, not my butt. It's covered up. It was, I think it was like Easter or something. We had family over and my cousin, who's old enough to be my aunt. So, but anyway, my cousin Loretta was holding me and her charm bracelet, you know, it's back in the I won't say what years it was, charm bracelets were popular, got caught on my tights. So they bent me over. So like this is my head and these are my legs. And they have a picture looking at my back with her and her charm bracelet. I was looking for a particular baby picture of me the other day and I found this and it made me laugh. And it... It was her charm bracelet stuck on my tights. That's funny, Angela. Nobody ever tied the feet of my tights to, together. But yeah, tights were a thing back then. They were definitely a thing. I'm thinking it was, it must have been Easter. Something like that. I was dressed in very fancy clothes, so it must have been my Easter outfit. I don't know. It was pretty funny. I was too old for it to have been my christening, so it must have been Easter. It was springtime. I'm just trimming this up with scissors. To me, it's easier to trim 
trim it with scissors. And just trim around this corner. I didn't get really close enough with the blade. Oh yeah, saddle shoes and tights. They were, it was the same era. I hated tights. Absolutely hated wearing tights. I don't like wearing pantyhose. You kept going downstairs in your butt and your mom would untie them. And then you'd try to hang with them again and repeat. Years later, I'm thinking, instead of trying to untie them, why not just take them off? Yeah, right? So we have sew and grow, and then we have this. I'm going to put um, some tape on this end. I'll probably use the same one that goes with the back. Yeah, why not? But see, when we're when we were kids, we didn't think to do things like, you know, take them off. That's the easy solution. That's funny. I can't believe like they would have you do it more than once. At that point, your mom should have just taken them off. Right. All right. I kind of like that crooked and this piece a little straight. Okay. Yeah, that that is cute. Uh oh, I broke the uh, pitchfork. It's not a pitchfork. I don't know what it's called. Oh, did we do a word? We need. What do we need? What word are we? Oh, the plural. We need a plural article of clothing. We got sidetracked with tights Agnes if you could pick us a plural you guys got to keep me straight here tonight this is crazy a trowel I thought that was a trowel what is the the fork <laughs> I don't know what you would call it the claw garden claw that's it and then that that I think is a trowel right I, I could be wrong dungarees Oh my goodness, dungarees. My mom used to call jeans dungarees. And it used to make me so mad because the word jeans was cool when I was a kid. Dungarees was not a cool word when I was a kid. Not at all. They were the two that tied you to a chair in the basement. And... <laughs> And fed most <laughs> fed most of a cherry pie to you. <laughs> Your mom was unhappy. I probably wasn't too happy either. Besides sick, I don't know <laughs> why I wanted to be by them so bad. I'm laughing so hard my eyes are squinting. I can't read. The people we took up when we were young. That is so funny. Angela, I love your stories. They are great. <laughs> that is so awesome. All right. The next word we need. 
there's a word coming up that we're going to need and I'm afraid to ask for it. But anyway, this is... <laughs> the next word we need is a, a type of... <laughs> I, I can't I can't even say it it's not even the bad one <laughs> it's a type of metal metal m-e-t-a-l type of metal you know like zinc copper aluminum something like that <sighs> there's one coming up I know I know what one of your answers is gonna be Anne is watching, and I know what her kids are going to say when she asks them this. I just know it. And it's not even anything bad. It's just funny. Okay. <laughs> so, Anne, you need to stay tuned. I know the answer your kid's going to give. I'm going to save that thing until last, I think. Because I am now 12 years old, and I think it's funny. All right. Let's see. We have some leaves here. Let's get back to being serious. I'm laughing far too much. All right. So we have these guys. Use guys. Maybe I'll just do two leaves because maybe I'll do leaves and flowers on the next one. And maybe a flower on this one. Okay. So I'm going to put the sew and grow down. And then I will put the flowers and the leaves down. I'm laughing so hard just thinking about what that thing is going to be. You guys may not even go where I think you're going to go with it. Put this over here. All right, what are the colors I have? I have red. It's not going to, red's not going to go. I'm going to have to do blue. Oh, I think maybe just, the, what if I just did the leaves? I'll have orange. Mm. I could maybe do orange. Kind of put it halfway underneath there. No. I don't like the orange. Let's go with this blue. I'm going to leave the flower off. I don't like the flower. But I think I will tuck these leaves kind of back behind here a little bit. Or My brother, 7, 11, and 13 years older, they didn't bug me too much. The four of us from the first marriage were born 65, 68, 70, and 73. That's very close in age, Angela. My uh, sister and brother are very much older than me. Um... They are, they were, you know, grown up and moved out when I came along. So I grew up as an only child. So I didn't have the teasing like that. I did have neighbor boys. But they were pretty good to me. They didn't really tease me like that. They didn't do anything like what Angela's brothers have done to her. Scarred her for life, probably. That would explain a lot of Angela's problems right now with um, 
you know, her being banned from my channel and, and things like that, getting in trouble. I'm kidding, Angela. Just teasing. I think I'll just leave those two leaves there. I'm going to use um, these glue dots. It was the one in 65 that was particular culprit. <laughs> He's also the one who made up the song to put my sister where she came from. That's funny. Kids are funny. I was a very, believe it or not, I was a very good kid. Well, yeah. In school, I never got in trouble. I was never sent to the principal's office. I was a really, really good kid. My mom may say otherwise. I don't think I got in any kind of like really bad trouble. All right. Um, Agnes, can you pick us one of those metals, types of metals? All right. So we have that. It says sew and grow. Titanium. All right. Titanium. Okay. And then the next word we need is an adjective. And we need, we need two adjectives. All right, then we have this last one. I think I think it would be neat to have this on it. Oh, that's stuck behind. Excuse me. All right. Oh, maybe inside one of them. Let me let me think about that or maybe not at all. All right. We'll put this on. That'll work. Anne's kids must be helping out. Pungent and farty. Pungent is farty. Farty is pungent, I should say. Okay. Trim this one up and put your adjectives in the chat. And maybe I will put a something or other down the side of this one. I have this white. I don't think the white goes very well. Oh, how about just this black? Because the um, spine is already black. I'm going to cut that piece 
off there because it will be um, not sticky. I don't know why I'm wasting my time cutting this with scissors. It rips easily. Oh, wait, wait. Let's put this on. Don't let your stories give them ideas. That's funny. Your stories are hysterical. All right. Let's see. So this one here, let's see. We'll use the butterfly. That is very pretty. We could use the orange flower on this one because it matches the butterfly. Or maybe just three of the flowers. Let's see here. What else do we have? We have the leaves. I don't think the leaves are good for this one. Tiny buffer. I'm just messing around to see stickles for a butterfly trail. That could work. I don't like this on it. I don't think it's pretty enough. I don't think it, I, I like it without it. So we have the three, I like the three flowers like that. And again, when you put that bag down, so you think I should do the bag? Shh. Oh, again, for the buffer, you meant. All right, let me, let me tell Todd we're buffering again. Okay. All right, I told Todd we were buffering again since it happened more than once. I think I will just do a a little bit of a um, thing. Oh, and I could put bling in the center of the flowers. That might be good. No bag. Yeah, I don't like the bag on there. Okay. Let's put these on. Let me get my my other stuff. It didn't last long. I'm glad it's not lasting long. We'll get it fixed up. I don't know what is going on. I need a new computer, that is all. That's what I need. I bet if I had a fancy new iMac, it wouldn't uh, have any issues with an M2 processor or um, an i a MacBook Pro with an M2 or a Mac Mini with an M2. My iMac is very old. It's a pain to edit videos because it's it's ancient. I got it long before I started doing um, 
YouTube, if that tells you anything. So I didn't know I would need like a big fancy computer. All right, so we have that, and then I will put this here. I kind of like it if he's like flying that way. I'm gonna guess it's a he, I don't know. It could be a she. I don't know what the difference between male and female butterflies are for coloring and stuff. I know birds, the men, the boy birds, male birds are fancy and colorful, and the female birds are usually gray. All right, so we do need two whatever words I said. Adjectives, is that what we're looking for? Oh, she got them. Agnes picked befuddled and charming. Thank you, Agnes. I'm glad you know what we're looking for. I don't know what I'm looking for. And, uh oh, I put them in the wrong order by mistake. Okay. And then we need an adjective. No, not an adjective. Don't listen to me. We need an adverb. It's a monarch butterfly. The males have black dots on their wings, the females do not. Not sure about other ones. Okay, so this is a male. Thank you for looking that up, or unless you already knew it. You may you may have known it. Christine, thank you. So that is a male butterfly. All right, let's put some, let's put a trail of stuff. I'm going to put the rest of these goodies back in this little envelope. Okay, let's get the stickles down. Let's see if I have black. Do I have black stickles? What color is this? Midnight blue. Do I have black? Yes. Black diamond. I'll put some for the eyeballs. I need a piece of scrap paper. Don't tell anyone I'm using this paper. Hmm, I don't have a pen. Let's use this glue. glue pen. Don't tell anybody. I'm using the glue thing. But it's not working. That's generally in real life, Angela. Women have bigger abdomens than men. <laughs> Men are usually, well, I guess hips more than abdomens, I would say. Men usually have skinny hips. Ah. Okay. I'm not sure this black is going to work. Let's see if I can get the dried up stuff out. I'm gonna have to use a color other than black, possibly.
well, I don't think this black stickles is going to work. It might be just dried up. I can't get it to come out. All right, we're going to skip the black stickles because it's not working. I do have a black Sharpie. And I will use the black Sharpie here. Oh, let's use a bigger black Sharpie. Do I have a bigger black Sharpie? I do in my Sharpie box. I know there's a black one in here. Okay, let's do this. Yep, that'll show up. There we go. That does show up on there and it's already glittery, so I guess it's fine. So we have these three. So we are looking for an adverb to go in the Mad Lib. So I, there, I made this three books. Oh, I could do some bling in the center of those flowers. I have light blue, at least for the orange one. And then I have, I have clear, I could put in the blue. I should do orange in the blue. Uh-oh, something fell behind me. What fell? Oh, a whole bunch of stuff. Don't look. I won't tell anybody. If you don't tell anybody, I won't tell anybody. All right, I have an orange marker and I'm gonna color two pieces of the clear bling in orange. Okay, there we go. That came out cute. Okay, let's put these aside. And I set this aside and we'll make a card with this. Um, Agnes, can you pick me um, one of those adverbs, please? And I'll put it in the story. Yes, the bling, I think. I love it. It looked pretty plain prior to the bling. You know, every week I get fewer and fewer in here. Because they go in crooked and then I just leave it okay let's see let's put this over here get rid of these out of my way get rid of that okay i'm gonna trim the um uh 
edges off the black and the red because it was look I think it was cut with scissors and I want it to be super straight actually I'm going to cut it a little closer to the um, design yeah that'll work there this I think is from like a a um, catalog or something but I'll still use it okay frequently Just choppy. I'm sorry, guys. Hopefully, by next time, we will have it fixed. Um, frequently. Okay. The next word we need is a verb. Smooth and choppy back and forth. Yeah, it's I bet the internet here is I don't know I'm gonna check it again and make sure it didn't go on the neighbor's Wi-Fi or something weird Nope, it's still on ours. Okay. I Don't have anything else running either Let me quit my other browser Or close my tabs, I should say, if I can't quit the browser because I'll lose my um, YouTube stuff. Okay, I closed all my extra tabs. Let me close this other thing. All right, so I'm not connected to anything else on the internet except YouTube. So... Let me know if it happens again. All right, so I need a really good background paper for this. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm just trying to pick something that I have close by. I think that's going to be too much. What about this? It's not the right colors. No, too much. Nothing patterned. Unless I use painty paper. Let's see if I have a good painty paper. That is actually quite cool. That is also really neat. This one has gold. I don't know if you can see that with the, all the gold on it. Let's see what else I have. This one has like yellow and blue and a little bit of red and orange. That one actually might be perfect. Just this bottom piece. It has purple and pink and yeah, I'm going to use that one rather than just going through all of them. Put these little pieces back. All right, let's trim this down to the right size. I think these are even. Let me just 
give this a trim just to make sure the paper is, see, no, it's not even, okay. So I wanna use this at, what did I decide? This piece down here, okay. So I'm gonna go with this at about four and an eighth by five and three eighths. There we go. That has like all those colors of the rainbow in it. And I will back it on some, I will mat this on um, a piece of glitter paper. Bibble is to eat and drink noisily. I've not heard that. That's cool. I didn't know. All right. Let me get a better card base. That one is crooked. We cannot have a crooked card base for this card. I'm going to trim this just a little tiny, tiny bit because I made it a little bit too big. This is great because it has all those colors in it. I love that. Okay, and then we have this. I'm not sure that I'm gonna do a whole lot more with it other than just kind of leave it as is. Let me see what color um, paper we're gonna use. Let's see. Agnes, can you pick me one of those um, verbs? Did we say a verb? Yes, a verb. And I'm looking for my gold. I wonder if gold would be good. I have this gold foam and it would bring it up off of the back. With just a little bit of a background of gold, hmm, maybe. There's this gold too that's not as quite in your face. I like it better. Or I also have black. Bibble. Okay. <clears throat> Bibble. All right, and what did you say that was to eat noisily? Is that what Bibble means? I'm gonna make a note here because it's gonna be very funny. All right, and the last word we need, we need two of them and we need a type of gas. <laughs> now, they mean things like oxygen or, let's see, type of gas. Yeah, things like oxygen, nitrogen, you know, that type of gas. You can use your imagination and come up with funny words as well. But type of gas is one of them or is the thing and we need two of them 
So put your type of gas in the chat. I cannot find black. Where is my black? Do I have black? Like a black zipper? Or is my black and a white? You guys, do you remember? I can't find a black zipper. Oh, yes, I can. I can find it. They were just pushed over. These are regular. That's regular black. This is black. Neon. Right. Neon is a type of gas. And um, we need two of them. So put two types of gas in the story. And I knew it. I knew she was going to say fart. I absolutely knew Anne was going to say fart. That's why I laughed so hard before. Yes, and hydrogen sulfide is what makes farts smelly. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. You did not disappoint. How did I know? How did I? She has the kids there. And I knew that those kids would say fart. You guys are so funny. So we have a dark black. I don't like the dark black. So we have our choices. We have the, I'll call this the gray, the silvery black, or the gold. I like the gold, I think, better than the black. Let me know what you guys think. I'll give you a few seconds. Black. Angela says black. And the gold. Okay, the next person who says black or gold, iridescent. I don't have like, you mean like a white iridescent? I don't think it would stand up against this white, though. I want it to be you know, um, I don't think I have another good black. Yeah, I either I have the dark, dark black too. Janet says gold. Gold. Okay, I'll go with the gold. I like the gold in person anyway. It may look different on camera. All right, we're going with gold. Okay. This has gold flecks in it. Do you see that? So that'll be, the gold I think will go really well. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do the gold. silver iridescent I'm not sure it would go it would contrast with the white all right you guys put your gases in the chat everybody else hold your nose because Ann and farted I knew, I just knew it. That is why I laughed like a 12 year old boy. That's how it looks on the gold. I think that looks really neat. In person it is so much, I looked up in the camera. In person it is so much better than in the camera, seriously. It's hard to really get the idea of it. I'm trying to 
show. All right. So we have that. I think I'm going to leave it. I'm put on this here. It looks like it's a picture, you know, a photograph. And it looks like there was some um, sequins on there. So I will add some sequins or some bling to this, some silver bling. Thank you, Anne. I think it's so pretty. I love, I really loved that. As soon as I had received it, I thought, oh, I have to, I have to make a card with this. And this would be good for June because June is Pride Month. And this would be a, a really nice card to send to someone in June. And then we'll put that, I think, hmm, do I want to make it flat? Yeah, I'll leave it flat because I'll put bling on it. And that way when it goes in an envelope, it won't take up extra room. I was going to raise it up, but I think I will leave it flat. And then this background has like all of these colors in it that is so perfect. It's got yellow and green and red, blue, that same color blue. It has more red. It's perfect. It is perfect for Pride Month. I, I love it. Um, let's see. Let's get, I have this with a bunch of clear little pieces of bling. I'm going to put it over top of where it had, um, fake pieces of bling just to cover those up because I'd rather have the real thing than a picture. Nitrous oxide and propane, okay. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so we have that card. There is that. I'm gonna just leave that be because I want the painty paper to stand out and of course that really pretty rainbow. And then we have this card. Is that all we did? Two cards and the three books? Oh, here, let's do three books and the two cards. There we go. Am I missing something? Is that all we did? Man, it feels like I did so much more. I guess it was the three books that took so much time. You like the challenge card and the butterfly book? Let me know you guys which one is your favorite um, card or book. So let's see, the types of gas, nitrous oxide and propane. All right. Are you guys ready for the story? All right, here we go. We have another vote for the butterfly book. Janet likes the pride card. Yeah, we'll call that the pride card. We have the heart card and we have 
sew and grow the butterfly in the sunshine i like the little sunshine book that is my favorite i love rainbows though that is my favorite and i like that for the books so you're getting a head start there you go angela all right so here we go i'm going to read the story and we'll go from there i hope you guys enjoy this the Mad Lib today is called the Spaceship. A spaceship is a vehicle used for smelling people between Earth and the dif distant Kiefers. A journey takes 28 years and can cover 10 miles. <laughs> it's a really long time to go for 10 miles. That is a very slow spaceship. The passengers have to enter a dazzling capsule. It will exist in a state of swampy animation. When the ship reaches its destination, they will hear a pelican and wake up on their dungarees. Or wake up and put on their dungarees. And then they have to land their six-ton titanium vehicle in a charming atmosphere. They do this by firing t the retro possums. Then they test the atmosphere on this befuddled planet to make sure it contains nitrous oxide and is not all propane. If it is okay, then they can get out of the ship very frequently and bibble all of the inhabitants. Bibble is eating noisily, so that is really funny. I think that's what we said Bibble was. I don't remember. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and um, I will put that, you know, in the Facebook group someday. Someday or another. And you guys, I have until Wednesday night, um, I'm going to leave Flat Liam up in the... Um, uh, Facebook group if you guys want to go introduce yourself to him and I will be printing that off for him um, for when he gets here on Thursday. So thank you all so much for coming. I have enjoyed um, our time together and the Mad Lib was quite funny. I hope you enjoyed my challenges that I had today and all of the other mail and all of the good camaraderie between everyone. If you haven't yet subscribed, please click on that subscribe button. Also click the thumbs up if you like what you see. It helps bump my videos up um, in the YouTube algorithms. Makes YouTube happy, that sort of thing. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you all next Monday. And until the next video, you know what to do. Go get crafting. Bye-bye.